In this particular video, I will talk about entity list liquid object within Power Pages Liquid. Now, entity list basically allows you to load the given list either by a name or by an ID. So the properties of list can be accessed using the entity list object. Now, say take for example, if you have a list. So in my case, I have a list called as all contacts. So that refers to a table of contact. I will be able to load that specific entity list in my Power Pages site. Now, once you load it, it will display the content of that specific list. Okay, so in the example one over here, you can see that entity list name is all accounts. Uh, it will load the entity list and you can even refer it by using ADX underscore name property. Example two, you can use ID and then within that ID, you can uh, query the list. I'm going to show this all this in example. Also, you can use view object, so entity list dot views, and then iterate through the views for that specific entity as well. So there are multiple options to play around with it. Let me show you in action how to use the entity list. Okay, so I have this Power Pages site. I have created this page, Feb 2025. There's nothing in this page. This is how it will get shown. So I have gone into the backend, click on edit code, and then this is the Visual Studio code on the web. Now I'm going to write some code, uh, and this is like a simple code for uh, entity list. Okay, so let me make it, uh, let me put an H3 and I'll say entity list demo. Now here, first, in order to load the entity list, what we need to do is like curly braces, percentage sign, and I will say include, and in single quotes, entity underscore list. Okay, so we are going to load the list. So we have include entity list. And here, we need to specify which list are you going to load. So key, and in single quotes, the, uh, the list name okay and here i'll just close this with percentage sign so this is a simple syntax now which list to load go into the design studio click on three dots go to power pages management and see whether you have a list connected within your power pages site or not in in my case there are a couple of lists but in your case if it is not there you can go ahead and add the list and once the list appears you will see some information over here so for me, the site name is Philadelphia and I have a couple of lists like all accounts, all contacts. So let me pick up all accounts, okay? Now here, all accounts. So all accounts is the list which I have. So I'm gonna pick this list. So I know the name, right? So I'll pick up all accounts. So I'm gonna, just gonna copy this and go to the code and just paste this, so all accounts. Let me save this. and let me sync the site. So what we have done, we have basically included entity underscore list and we have specified the key as all account. And let me refresh the page. And as you see over here, this list is now getting loaded. Now this list has like, I think five columns and I have some values and then it has shown me a nice page, paginated information, looks good, you know? So what we can do, we can make use of entity list, uh, include tag basically to include the grid basically, okay? To show all the records. So similarly, you can do it for any other list as well. Now, this is all about loading into the list, okay? So let me put an HR so that we have the separation. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, uh, let's do take an, another example. Now, if, if we just want to load the entity list, so the syntax is basically use the percentage sign, percentage sign, and the syntax is entity list, name, colon, and then here we need to specify which list. Now for the same example, I can just pick up all accounts as a list and this will refer the entity list uh, within this bound, okay? So how to put that bound? You just say percent percent and end entity list. So this is similar to the entity view. Uh, we will just, I just want to show you, this is how you can write. So end entity list 
and this is within the bound so whatever code you want you can write in between this okay now what kind of code you will write one is like if you want to load something you know now this is basically loading that entity list within the context of that particular page okay now i'll just say loaded and then this is just a text and i'll put this two curly braces and just say entity list dot uh, if you want to know what is the name of that entity list you can just say entity list dot adx underscore name and we all know what the name of this entity is uh, so this is all accounts so i'll just save this and sync and i'll refresh this so once it is synced it should give you the name of that specific list so it has given me loaded all accounts okay so this is how you can retrieve the name so the first one was an include tag which allows you to display the grid second is like we have loaded this entity and then if you want to operate anything on this so you can query you can navigate through the various component i'm not going to go through all the things but i just want to show you that you can do a lot of things within this okay we can you can query uh, the various objects properties of that specific entity list now this is one example so let me cut short this example over here itself now i will go in uh, another example so let me copy this hr tag so that we have the separation and curly braces person percent and same thing entity list copy this again and terminate that entity list and this here will say end entity list so remember it, it should be always within that bound so whatever things you want you can write within that now here instead of name i'm going to make use of id okay so id and in single quotes now in this case uh if i want to show something then what i can do like instead of all accounts what i'm going to do go in the back end go to the list let me pick up all contacts now the all contacts list which is there as a part of power pages you can see the id over here right so the id is one a d six and some number just copy this and paste it over here now remember this is like the contact list now again with that same logic i'm gonna let me make use of some emoji or let me use this uh, it's just for identifying what it is so i'll just open curly braces entity list dot not entity underscore but entity list dot adx underscore name so if i want to know what that name of that particular id is and then i'll be able to get in those information also we can use a for loop okay so if you want to iterate through the views within that specific entity list you can make use of for loop so how do you write a for loop you use person person for and similarly you just copy this again and make use of end for and within the for you can just say say view for view in uh, entity list dot views and once you get that view object it is simple you can just go ahead and type in the view name so let me make use of some emoji so i'll just use a stick emoji uh, so windows dot and i'll just pick up tick and the view name so curly braces you get that object view dot name and this is how you can extract the name so in this example what we are doing is we are making use of id okay instead of the name and also we are trying to display the name of that specific entity list going forward we can also use a for loop and then iterate through the entity list we use now in this case we know there is only one view it will only display that view name so let's do one thing let's save this and try to see the output sync and as you see over here the name of that specific entity list is all contacts and the even the view name is same so that is all contacts and it has displayed that correctly 
So just to reiterate what we have done initially in order to display all the accounts list, we have used include entity underscore list that loads all the account list it shows in the form of a grid. But if you just don't want to display something within your page, and if you want to operate on the data, you can use entity list object, you can specify the object entity list dot adx underscore name so that you get the get to know about the uh, the entity list details and then you can operate upon that data you can use filters you can query the records you can do a whole bunch of things over here also in the third example i've shown like instead of name you can make use of id so if you have id handy you can use id and then you can also iterate through the contents so you can iterate through the views you can extract the name using adx underscore name property and then this is how you basically use the entity list to show the dynamic content within your power pages site so that's it folks thanks for watching